Hey everybody, it's Chad from Six Bog Stick. Today I just want to do a quick little video and tell you about my new, uh, well it's not new anymore, but my latest pillow setup. We got a little bit out here, she's already chased a rabbit down. <laughs> anyway, I uh, just want to talk to you about my new pillow setup. I've used a couple of pillow setups in the past. There's been some that I've liked better than others. Um, on a previous hike I did, uh, I was able to hike with Ben from Goose Feet Gear. And uh, while I was hiking with him, I checked out, of course, I checked out his gear like all gearheads do. And uh, I asked him about the pillow setup that he was using. And I was actually real interested in the pillow setup, so I decided that I wanted to replicate that pillow setup because um, one of the things that I liked about it was that the pillow was so big and that the entire setup was actually lightweight considering what most pillows uh, on the market weigh. So uh, what I found out that he was using was, of course, one of his own uh, stuff sack down pillows, which is what you see here. Uh, basically, it's a stuff sack with a pillow top on it, and that pillow top is filled with down. Uh, the cool thing about beer, uh, beer, about Ben's site, uh, I was trying to say Goose Feet Gear and Ben at the same time, uh, but the cool thing about the Goose Feet Gear site is Ben allows you to decide what material that you want to use and how much down do you want to put in it. Uh, also, he has a, a variety of different sizes, and uh, if you want something that's a little bit different size, you can just contact him and he'll work with you to make a, a little bit different size. Uh, so what I've got here is one of his uh, stuff sack down pillows. Uh, I'll opt to go for the tendonier material. I believe this is the gray color. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, you know, it's so thin, uh, it could be black, but I'm pretty sure this is the gray. Um, also, I think that there's one ounce of down inside the, uh, the pillow top that he has, or that he's made for me. Um, the, the stuff sack pillow by itself weighs uh, 1.6 ounces. Um, and then the pillow inside is actually an Exped Ultralight Down Air Pillow. Not down, Exped Ultralight Air Pillow. Um, a few years back, I actually picked up one of the original uh, Exped air pillows, and they were made out of the same material that the, uh, the sin mats and stuff are made out of. But once they made the UL version, the UL7, uh, they decided to use that same material to make uh, the pillows out of. Uh, the cool thing about that is I had, or I still have, it's inside, uh, but I have the original uh, version in a size medium, and it weighs three ounces just for the pillow. Um, the large UL version, which is what I have here, actually weighs two ounces. So it's a bigger size and it actually weighs one ounce less. Uh, but anyway, this is the large Exped UL air pillow. And the cool thing about it is it has tabs on each end here. I don't know how well you can see that, but there's tabs on each end. So what I've done is taken a 1 16th inch piece of shock cord and a mitten clip, and I've attached it to one of those. And then all I do is I stuff that. Like I said, it is a stuff sack pillow. It's got a down layer on the top. I just take that pillow, stuff it in, making sure that the side that's got the shock cord is hanging out here. And then like I said, it is a stuff sack pillow, so I just cinch that closed with the stuff sack. And then I take the elastic shock cord, and initially I asked Ben to put a, uh, a grommet so I could run the cord back inside and attach it to the pillow. Uh, however, what he did for me is he put a little loop just take that little piece of cord back and attach it to the loop and then I have this uh, shock cord system. Guys, I'm sorry about all the noise. I live right in the middle of a city and I have, I'm thankful I have a large field here that I could just come out as my own little area, but at the same time I've got the noise pollution from the city. We've got lawnmowers over here, sirens over there, traffic over here. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay guys, the sirens are gone. One more still back there. I don't think I'm going to be able to wait that one out. But anyway, like I said, what I've got basically is this pillow here with this uh, cord on it. Now, I will say that I don't generally take this air mattress with me on a hike. Uh, generally, what I take with me is my Neo Air x Lite. It's the large size. Um, but this one was just closer. So the way I work this thing is I just take the shock cord and run it around the back of the sleeping pad. And then that kind of holds it in place. Now, with my x Lite, there's actually baffles. So whenever I pull this shock cord over, the shock cord will kind of get lodged up in those baffles a little bit, and it'll keep it from sliding. Uh, on this one, it's not quite so much the same. It, it'll slide pretty freely. So if I was going to use this, I would just use a shorter piece of shock cord to put more tension on it. But 
But anyway, what I do is I generally pull it down just a little bit farther than what I expect to use it. That way when I lay down and slide it up, it'll kind of lock itself into place just a little bit. Plus the weight of my body will put weight on the pad and that helps hold the shock cord in place. But then what I have is a nice little pillow there. Go ahead and lay down on it. And there we go. Little bits up here. Come here. There you go. So anyway, what I end up with is a super comfortable pillow. Uh, now I want to say that for those of you that use down, you're probably aware that uh, as soon as you lay your head on the down, the down's going to compress underneath you. Uh, but the cool thing is, is first off, this tendineer material, I believe it's Noble One. Uh, it feels really nice against your skin, so it feels good when I lay my face on it. It feels kind of silky smooth. Also, the down does compress that's directly beneath my head where I'm putting weight on the pillow. Um, but I don't need the down to actually give me elevation. That's what the Expad UL Air Pillow is for. Is it's actually lifting my head up off the pillow. Um, what the down does, though, is it kind of lofts up around my neck and my head. And that just kind of makes it feel more like a regular, a traditional pillow that I would use at home. Also, the down will actually, uh, if it's cold outside, the down will actually help to keep my neck and my head warm. Just like down usually does. So then there I have it, guys. I'm not going to say it's as comfortable as a pillow at home on my bed, but it's, uh, it's pretty dang comfortable and I'm really happy with it. Like I said, the total weight is 3.6. Uh, my scale will actually fluctuate between 3.6 and 3.7, uh, so you just kind of take that for what it is. Um, and like I said, I think that's ultra light, or it's light enough, I'm not going to put a name, a label on it, but it's light enough compared to most other pillows. Um, the first pillow that I started out with was a 10 ounce synthetic downfill pillow uh, and now I'm down to uh, 3.6, 3.7 ounces so I'm pretty happy with it. I do want to say that this is not the, uh, the cheapest and by cheapest I don't mean crappy quality, I mean less expensive. Um, this is not a very inexpensive pillow setup. I will say that the Exped UL Air Pillow weigh, uh, costs 55 bucks is what they run. Uh, of course you can find deals on those. I got mine from REI so I got the 10% back or whatever. Um, and then the, uh, the stuff sack pillow I got from Ben, I believe, I can't remember if it was either $41 or $46 what I paid for that. So roughly, um, just to kind of blow your mind, this is a $100 roundabout pillow set up. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, I'm not uh, upset that I spent that much on a pillow system because for me a pillow is a very important part of a uh, backpacking trip because the more comfortable that I can sleep, the better sleep I'll get and the better I'm going to feel on the trail. So anyway, guys, that's my pillow setup that I'm using right now. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to post those below. I do my best to uh, reply to any of the comments or answer the questions. Uh, at the same time, too, if you uh, think you might be interested, you can get in touch with Ben over at Goose Feet Gear, and he'll be happy to answer any kind of question you may have about uh, getting one of these pillowcases as well. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you next time. Later.